<laughs> hey, Glacial Sin. Yeah, we've had some crazy moments on the stream. Should we use this? Pass through the Soul Warden seal and investigate the top. Oh. Spin to win now. That's right. Yeah, we had some crazy shenanigans, Glacial Sin. Wow, I, I kind of missed my whirlwind. Oh, I did it again. That's how I missed. What do you guys think of Spear? Besides me missing that shot horribly. Who was here? <laughs> Ma. Just make your character say "ma." Oh wow, this thing respawns pretty quickly. We unlocked the 1900 and the 2000, Alex. We got a new emote. Check out Bog Otter Fine. What's max level 60? Riddle Boxer has a nice mustache. This ladder goes nowhere. Oh, that's hard to hit. That guy gives me 35 spear mastery per kill. Pretty nice. Um, okay, so that's all done. So the main quest now brings us where? Right there. Everything is fine while the burn burns around you. That's exactly it. Yes. That is ex that's exactly right. Let me, uh, let me see what happens if we respec. Not respect while abilities aren't cooled down. Oh. Respec. Yes. What if we go down here? Try these. On, spirits okay. spirit is interesting I don't know if it's my favorite of course I would do more damage if I 
This is a dex weapon, right? Why can't I switch my axe? Ectoplasm, huh? It's dex with a strength sub. Okay, got it. Okay. I can make this, I can live this drop or no? That one seems a little far. That's a little far. Aim for the bushes? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ancient Coffer is back. Nice. This is not a bad place to level up your weapon skills. So instead of the spear, actually, could you use some different weapons soon? It just kills, I kill something so much faster with a hammer. It would be like Assassin's Creed. Yeah, like even, this is like Assassin's Creed, right? Even this height is pretty high. I'm going to do it from over here. What is this landmark? It's this tower here. Just get that to show up. So collect river-worn stone charms from lost pirates in river Warm Grotto. I'm <laughs> standing in front of a tree. Dragon glory. What else do I got? Um, oh, I can't change weapons. Four seconds. Put on a musket. I have ammo for that, right? A little bit. And musket is what? Dex and intelligence? The rapier is dex and intelligence. All right, here we go, gang. This 
this really weird spec for me. But pretty soon I'm not going to be able to like respec for free. Respec. That's a nice sound effect. I was killing that guy. I don't have to help me. It's fine. Having to create ammo though is annoying. It's a bathtub. Give me musket and rapier experience. Provisions. I have to talk to Jonas about this one. All right. So this quest is reclaiming what's lost. Where's that? This one here. Pin it. Four of ten and two of five. No, Did you oh. why I like just smacking things with a hammer. <laughs> this is so much harder. Alright. And this guy. There you go. Help me. Dex is main for both musket and rapier? Yeah, I think so. With an off of... With a sub of intelligence. I just want to unlock a skill with these other ones. matter if you hit him in the face. Nani. Nani. How many times do I have to shoot you? Power shot. Overload musket with gunpowder causing the next shot to deal 150% weapon damage. Throw a trap. That lasts for 20 seconds. Ah, okay, so you can actually... Headshot is a weak point? Oh, okay. I only have eight bullets left, so I don't know how, what am I gonna be able to do with this weapon soon. That's the way to level this weapon. 
get one shot in while <laughs> while the other people are killing the monster I do say nani new nani Evil Twin Link, tell Wheezy no hints. <laughs> Except in most cases, it takes three hints to get credit. No, it doesn't. Right here. There's one shot. Maybe this one because there's so many people. Let me shoot this guy. I only got three bullets. How do I... Can you make more in the field? Or no. The hint made you more scared though, to be honest. How funny. second skill with the rapier we've already got flurry pondo flourish and finish flourish performs an attack knocking enemies back pressing light attack at the end of flourish will continue this ability by automatically performing finish finish lunges forward consuming all rapier bleeds on any target hit dealing 110% dam of their damage immediately Okay. Can you wear a shield with the rapier, i.e. block? Uh, I think the rapier, uh, I think the shield is only... It's only for uh, the, the long sword. But here, I'll try for you. I have to wait for the cooldowns. Bullets are a hot item on the marketplace. I can see why. Shield is sword only. Okay. Yeah. If I bind it to me, it just adds weight. Yeah. By the way, I want to see what the... Uh, the shield skin looks like, though. Oh, I can do either one? Oh, that's cool. That's upside down. You don't hold it like that again. Okay, good. It's like, don't hold it like that. What about the musket and the rapier? She just said under toe. See what these weapons look like. It's pretty cool. I think your character should say on guard when you start fighting with the rapier. Me too. Dodge, parry, spin, thrust. Should say all the things. Hey, it makes short work of people when you have your abilities off cooldown. Holy cow. literally the captain's log 
impressive burst damage there. Watch when this thing comes off cooldown. We're gonna just go and this guy's health's gonna disappear. Oh, if I didn't miss that thrust, that would have been it. Ow! Yeah, the rapier is pretty good. I totally look like I should have a rapier with this outfit on, right? I guess technically maybe a cutlass. Stop with your dumb shield. How about you? Yeah, that would be a good thing to say too. How about you? All right, I have no more bullets, so I can't shoot anymore. She said ET. Oh, she backflips. That was awesome. All right, I think we're done here. What else do we need here? Search chests. I guess I have been focusing on mobs too much. I wish you could kick them off platforms. Where's that guy going? phone home all right there's one of the river worn stone charges we need one more of those all right let's kick take away our musket and try some <laughs> fire staff oh. <laughs> I think uh, being like a caster like this would be fun if you had support. If you had a friend that was like engaging the mobs and they get a whole bunch and then you put down your AOEs. Yeah. Mr. EZT says, so with PVP, do you have to have a specific person to PVP with before you toggle it on or you can toggle on and go out and find someone else? So you have to toggle it on when you're in a town or what they call a sanctuary, a safe zone. Then you flag for PVP. Then when you leave the sanctuary, it counts down and then you're flagged for PvP. And then anybody who's flagged for PvP can attack you. But only people with red names, like like this guy here, Floki the Great, I wouldn't be able to fight him because A, he's on my faction, but B, his name's not red. Um, so if you're running around the world and you see somebody flag for PvP, you can't immediately just flag for PvP too and then jump on them. You have to go back to your town and flag it. So it's it's something that you have to deliberately turn on and then you know that you're in danger or not. Yeah. There we go, there's the last one. Milk! All right, let me see if we can level up our staff a little. All right, we'll get our second ability with one or two more kills. 
and then you can run back to town to turn it off. Yes. Yeah, and you can't buff or heal players that are PvP flagged if you're not. That's right. Which also makes sense. That not hit him. Oh. One more kill and we can pick a new fire spell. Boost it up! She definitely says E.T. What do we get here? A new hat? It's no good. All right. Let's pick our new fire spell. Can you max all the weapons if you like played enough? Or do they cap you? I would expect that to have done more damage, to be honest. You like my color scheme, Moogle Tart? Yeah, a lot of this is the, the stuff you can get on uh, from watching on Twitch. Hey, 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 hey. I'm out of mana now. I forgot there's mana. Um, what's the staff look like? The staff skin. Raven's Revenge. Oh. oh, it's actually got like a raven head on there. Like a purple raven. <coughs> Fire staffing again? What do you mean again? This is the first time I've tried it since, uh... <laughs> but yes. Just trying them at all before they lock me in at level 20. One more question. Let's say you're out in the world with PvP enabled and solo. Can you get destroyed by a large PvP group working together in the same team? Yes. Now there's open world PvP, which is just like running around with your PvP flag on. There's dueling where you can challenge somebody specifically to a duel. There's also PvP modes. Have there's... you considered getting good? No, I didn't consider that. Um, uh, what's the PVP match called? There's a, there's a war that you can declare, which is like basically company versus company or faction versus faction war. But there's also something you can queue up for, right? Outpost rush. That's it. That's 20 versus 20, right? forget oh there's a crocagator hold on oh, i said what the no dude 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 that was gonna be my triumphant moment you dummy I wanted to fight that. 
You're welcome, Mr. Easy T. I hope that helps. And I'm not the PvP expert, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm decidedly, like, not really going to engage much in PvP, I don't think, playing this game, but... Good luck. We get more crocodiles because that was cool no that's okay rabbit i do see a crocodile Climb. Oh my god, that fence was too powerful. Oh! I was standing under the tree and then I looked up and then I felt something went on my face. What? Just now. Did you have a bird poop on your face? I don't know, it wasn't poop. But just oh. now, I was looking up. And I felt just wetness fall on my face. That's gross. I did not like that. I wouldn't like that either. All right. Welcome home. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. I didn't even realize that it was 4, 4 15 already. Yes. <laughs> 20. No we're at 2021 20, subs, gang. Oh my gosh. It's the same as the year. I know that's a perfect place to end, but. Last chance to maybe unlock the cooking stream in November at 2100 subs or another remote slot at 2200 subs while the subs gifting is still 20% off. Tomorrow I'm going to be out, not streaming. I have a medical procedure that I'm doing in the morning Hopefully learn out what's going on with my heart. So today is the day. Ooh, oh my God. Look at this. Look at this iron vein. That is chunky. Word of our oh, man, a Shevitz. Holy crapples. Holy moly guacamole. Artesian builds coming in hot with that ginormous raid. Oh. What's going on? Mr. Grayskull, I love your name. Eric from Artesian. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome, friends. Give pretty good advice and great tea. The key to both is proper aging. The study gaming, hi. Thanks for following study gaming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> How you guys doing? Bringar314 is here. Welcome. Devs502. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter. Uh, I'm an I'm an artesian partner. In fact, I was their first full-time streamer, uh sp sponsored person thing, stream guy. First one. And now look, they're huge, doing amazing things. Thank you for bringing your uh, whole community over. And we're playing some new world. Um, brand new MMO from Amazon. And gang, if you were watching me, you've probably heard me talk about Artesian 10,000 million times, but go over to Artesian Builds on Twitch, follow the channel. They talk tech, they build outrageous, amazing machines. And if you're in looking for a new PC yourself, you can save up to $200 by using my code BOGOTTER through that link that Wolf just put in the chat. We've had over 30 people in our community buy computers from Artesian. And everyone's been happy with them. I have two of them myself, so 
they do great work so thanks for bringing your raid over and anybody that has any questions about new world or our channel here feel free to uh ask please hit that follow button if you're having a good time and welcome this just launched yesterday has anybody uh from artesian's channel been playing it all right so over here we've got defeat stone lost stone tooth pirates and defeat master henry on the river docks let's see if we can go find him just quickly want to say i am one of those two artesian pc users Yep. And I can attest, it is fantastic. Yep. I have a custom PC using a case that wasn't even available on their site. Like, they were amazing. Yeah. And built me the best birthday this, custom PC. When we were building my girlfriend Azaria's uh, PC, she wanted a case that wasn't on their website. So we contacted them, and they sent us a custom link with all the other parts she did want, plus the case. They ordered the case. Got it shipped in and then built the PC that she wanted to make. It was yeah. amazing. I loved it. Yeah. Love, love, loved it. Ameridan, thanks for following. Oh, there's a crocagator. Let's get it. See, that just does not do enough damage. <laughs> I was hoping for a whole lot more uh, oomph to that. Okay, this hurts. This is hurting me. Florida man fights crocodile using a garbage bin. <laughs> oh man, that's what you just reminded me of. I look like a fancy wizard, Gregzilla. This is actually just temporary. I was just trying out some of the different weapons. That just doesn't seem to have the punch of the hammer, does it? Does not have a hammer punch. Does not have the hammer punch. We're gonna win, but barely. The garbage bin did win the fight in that video, Edon. It did, yeah. That was a great video. Tagos loves his Artesian PC. Joe23HO just got one. Irewolf Sun. Yeah. Lots of otters. All right. So let me switch back to what I normally have been using. And I've been trying different things out because when I hit level, um, when I hit level 20, I can't respect for free anymore. So let me pump into strength and we'll get a little bit of health as well. Let's go up to 35. There we go. Commit those points. All right. And now I'm going to be using my Warhammer and my Great Axe. This will be a little bit different. Let's find another alligator. You're saving up for a new PC, one that can handle Photoshop a bit better than this one, Quo? Well, when you're ready, if you'd like to uh, use our sponsor, that'd be amazing. Um, Azaria uses Photoshop uh, on her Artesian PC for uh, her job and uh works quite well she's like the, the photoshop suite where's the crocodile just like that the game becomes all peaceful like all peaceful <laughs> there's not a single other player not a single bad guy all right, maybe we should just go where those pirates were going to be. They're down here to the south. Hi, what do you want? You little cat. By the way, um, we unlocked two new emotes on our uh, channel today. We're at the highest sub point total we've ever been right at this moment. We unlocked Bog Otter Pat and Bog Otter Fine today. We have an amazing emote art art artist, Moogle Tart. She just made these and we just put them in today. <laughs> Random turkey runs by. Arp, 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 arp. Sorry, I have to get this iron. It's just, it's, it's staring right in front of me.
that sounds nice. You get prod projects with loads of effects in PSD and PS will, will die on me. Oh, no. Hi, Cookie Scout. All right, let's jump down here. Angelor says, how's the game? What's good? What's bad? Well, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I and my stream can tell you, like the day before it launched, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play New World tomorrow on stream. And I'm just not excited about it. <laughs> and here I am been playing nonstop the past two days. Um, there's no subscription fee. It's an MMO. First big game by Amazon Game Studios. It was originally designed to be mostly a PvP experience, but in the last year or so, they delayed development and they added a bunch of PvE stuff. Um, the world is beautiful. The sound design is incredible. I think the UI design, how they do their inventory and just like all the different screens, just really well thought out. Very easy to use. I've been talking about the, the UI quite a bit because uh, it's rare for that to be like an impressive part of the game. It's got action combat, three factions, um, large scale PVP if you're into that, but the PVP is optional. You have to like flag yourself while you're in a town and then you can go out and be PVP flagged and which means you'd be in danger and stuff like that. Eric, what level am I? I'm 17, level 17. Yeah. I was even thinking of skipping it. You're right, Arrowwolf. I, I was. Well, it's because we're literally in the middle. If any folks are still watching from Artesian, we play all kinds of games here. I'm in the middle of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, right? Tactical RPG, turn-based combat. We're playing Cana Bridge of Spirits, which is amazing. Action combat, like beautiful, like Pixar-like environments. Um, and we're also playing Final Fantasy Remake. Final Fantasy VII Remake on the PS5. So we've got three like big games going on all at once. And then New World decides to come out right in the middle of all that. And now I don't know what to play. So here's some of the hammer combat. It is a classless system, which some people will absolutely love and some people will prefer classes. And what I mean by that is you don't choose to be a warrior or wizard or anything like that. You just work on whatever weapons you'd like. So if you want to be more like a wizard, you can focus on like fire staff and ice gauntlet, you know? You just focus on what you want to focus on. All right, so what do I have to do here? I've got to kill pirates and defeat Master Henry. Master Henry? Where are you? Are you Master Henry? No. Hello there, big guy. Hello there, big guy. There. Now we're dead. Uh, Andrew Lore says, uh, no subscription is a good point. I'm thinking about buying it tomorrow. I quite like the visual. It's beautiful indeed. I'm kind of a magic loving player, but musket looks nice too. What's your opinion on these? So we have somebody in our community. I don't know if he's still there, but his name is Fox. He's, he's playing rapier fire staff and he thinks it's amazing. Um, I, no matter what game I play, <laughs> I seem to gravitate towards like barbarian berserker types. So I really like the big weapons myself, but yeah, you can totally be a musket. I was trying the musket earlier. I would show you what musket looks like, but I don't have any more ammo. I don't have any more bullets. Um, the one thing about what weapon choice you go with, you have to you have to choose weapons that pair well together stat-wise. So, for example, and you can respec and change up. You don't you're not locked in. So, for example, though, if you if you want um, a musket, it scales with dex and intelligence. <laughs> So it probably is not a good idea to like pair that with like great axe because then you're going to need strength, intelligence and dexterity. So you can mix and match ones that require the similar stats, I think is the best way to go. Yeah, 
and forty dollars for the game is a really good price and i've been telling folks that hey this may not it may not be the type of mmo like a world of warcraft or final fantasy 14 or guild wars 2 where you you sit there and you you get invested in it and you play it for years and you rack up thousands of hours it may not do that but at 40 dollars no sub price if you play it for a month two months and you you get 50 60 hours in that's awesome and then if it does matt wind up uh hooking you then even better yeah so there you go sir um sir Ch chong meng thanks for following and uh, meriden i think i said hello to you as well thanks for the follows gang appreciate it yeah there's fox fox was talking about it. yeah you basically use fire staff full intelligence and put an elemental gem in your rapier to have it scale better ah okay Well, you're not playing it yet. You've only, she's only installed it. <laughs> Ice Gauntlet goes with Fire Staff and Rapier as well. Okay, yeah. They're all intelligence based. You took out your musket. There you go. Okay, so what else do I need? Three more pirates, and we have we haven't found Master Henry. Where is Master Henry? life skills you have three skills per weapon well you have you have a talent tree for each weapon so um you have three active slots right it's q r and f but i it, it doesn't have to be these three it could be you know any mix of the six uh that are up here and i haven't even gotten down here yet so there's other stuff down here um the life staff i haven't even looked at you have Divine Embrace, heal a target for 150% weapon damage. Sacred Ground, create an area on the ground that uh, heals 20% weapon damage every second. So an AoE heal over time. Splash of Light, you and all group members within 100 meters are healed for 50% weapon damage. Orb of Protection, shoots out a light projectile that grants 10% fortify for 20 seconds, heals an ally for 10% of weapon damage, and deals 146 weapon damage when it hits an enemy. Excuse me. Where were we? Lights Embrace, targeted heal for 100% weapon damage plus 30% more for each buff on the target. And then Beacon, shoots out a light projectile that deals weapon damage to enemies, attaches itself to a target and heals nearby our allies for 20% weapon damage for 10 seconds. There you go. There's a lot. There's a lot to it. Yeah, you you have six six abilities in each skill tree, and you pick three for your build. Yep. And then there's passive perks and stuff to get along the way as you level up. All right, where is where is Master Gandalf? For I much desire to speak with him. He's he's slightly outside of town, isn't he? Let's go. You can't believe you haven't had a single hammer drop yet and you're the same level as me? Just craft one. I craft... I Actually, I think the one I'm using I crafted because it was, it was a little bit better than what I had. Are those cosmetics on the weapon you just crafted? These are cosmetics that you can get by watching certain Twitch streams. These are Twitch drops. Uh, I, I unfortunately am not one of the 
Twitch streamers that has them, <laughs> but you can find, you have until October 10th to unlock them. Um, plus, if you subscribe to Amazon Prime and you have Prime Gaming over, over here on Twitch, this outfit I'm wearing, this pirate outfit is included for that. But yeah, this, the, the cosmetic system is really well done. You can literally have, uh, you know, any item, you right click, change skin. I can make it so there's no skin on it. So this is what the my chess piece should look like normally, right? But any of them that I've unlocked, like the Verdant Trapper skin, I can put that on. Golden Rage Coat. So anything that I have unlocked, I can put on. Um, including the Swashbuckler's Coat. So yeah, so these are special skins. My, my hammer is supposed to look pretty dorky. There, my, my hammer is pretty plain. Look at that, guys. I'm showing you my plain hammer. Feels bad. But I like the fact that you can just on the fly just change what you what you got. And there is a there is a store where you can get cosmetics if you want to, you know. There's no subscription fee, so they do have a cosmetic shop. Uh the cosmetics are dyes, emotes, armor skins, weapon skins. There's player housing in this, so you can get a pirate housing bundle right now. Crests for your guild. But nothing like pay to win or scummy. I like this runic bear one, except that it takes my beard away. It didn't take my beard away. Like, like this one here is really cool. Look kind of like Loki. And it keeps my beard. Okay, where's Master Henry? Good questions, by the way. Cosmetics affect the stats? No. No, they don't they don't affect the stats. Oh, here he is, right here. There we go. King King's Velvet Talisman. What is that? Jewelry. Ooh. Slightly better than what I got. Nice. Quip. Then anything you don't need, you can salvage. Right here. Just get rid of it. You can repair your items. I learned this today. Repair all on the bottom here. Shows you the coins and the repair parts it needs. And boom, all the stuff you have equipped is repaired, including your gathering materials. Bowser says, I just got busy wrapping up work. Came back to 2,000 plus subs. Good job, Otters. Yeah, we got our new emote, Bog Otter Fine. We got that today. We got two new emotes today. Unbelievable. Uh-oh, Master Henry's back. Oh, God. He's who I want to be when I grow up. Okay, he is a little tough. Uh-oh. There we go. I got reinforcements. There we go. Knock his butt down. Common regen potion. Nice. Oh, there's the crocodile. I hear you. Yeah, that Master Henry's gonna smash this guy. Alright, I should help him. He's low level. All right, now get away from here, dude. <laughs> Before he kills both of us. That guy's a little tough. All right, come on. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Calm down. He does the tail whip too. No, not fresh water. I want to skin him. Only crow, indeed, ape that noise. Alright. So we're all done with that quest. like the music. So look, this is yet again another ship that got caught from going somewhere. This isn't the same one I keep seeing, right? <laughs> this is just multiple ships that have done this. I don't think I can get anywhere up here. Hmm. So one of my turn-ins... Oh, a lot of my turn-ins are in Everfall. All right, let's start heading back. Hey, Magic Myth Man, what's going on? Long time no see. And Bambino, thanks for following, and Cable540 as well. Thank you for the follows, gang. <laughs> Chat security measures went into place. That's good news. And I love the, uh, I love how granular you can get with those options, too. Hi, Dark Faction. How's it going? So, we'll have to implement some of that. Nanny! One of those enemies definitely says nanny. Not bad. How you like the game? I'm having a lot of fun with it, Dark Faction. You got level 50 in logging, Narian? Are all you... is? How do you do that? Are you just doing nothing but chopping? Chopping broccoli? Let's see, what am I at? I did a lot of tree chopping last night, and I don't think I'm anywhere near that. Let's see. I'm at 21. Holy cow. You're just chopping away? And what am I at mining? The mining and the tree chopping is what is hard to keep up there. 28 of that. You're still in a queue, Dark Faction? I'm not sure if anybody's heard, but because uh, a lot of people want to play on these higher population servers and the queue times have been a little bit long, a little bit, a lot long. I waited four hours for a queue yesterday. Um, the, the, the devs tweeted out yesterday that in the next two weeks, they're going to allow free realm transfers for everyone to anywhere so that you can Start playing today on a, any server you want and then level up and then bring your character over to the server that you want to stay on for free later on. Yeah. Magical plants can now be tracked. Oh, nice. It's just me getting blueberries. Cranberries, in fact. See, the harvesting was easier for me to get up. Uh, getting harvesting up to 30 was great because now a lot of the magical uh, plants that you see, I can actually loot now. Wow, Dark Faction's been three hours. Yeah. So play on a different server if you can.
and then transfer over later. I know that's not ideal. But if you really just rather would... If you have limited time to play, especially if you have limited time to play, that's probably the best thing you can do. All right, we got to go down this... We got to go down this road for a while. You're doing all right. You missed seeing the stream. He's been working the weekday morning shifts. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we've been doing good. We just hit six years streaming full time this month. Um, it's crazy. And miser, the miser. Thanks for following. What will the free transfer solve? Will they still have long waiting time? Or are they working on solving that? So what you're seeing right now, Underdark, is is temporary, right? Everyone and their grandma's dog wants to play right now. And this always happens when a game like this launches. So the servers get crushed. They have to spin up new servers. And then what happens is after a couple weeks go by, you know... The people that really are going to stick to the game, stick to the game. The people that move on to other games will move on. Or uh, that, so the the amount of people trying to get on during the peak hours will be less and less. And it becomes less of an issue. And so those free realm transfers will help. Because then you can get on the higher population servers. And there may still be queues. It's not like the queues might, you know, may not go away. But there's no way... You're going to have 10,000 people waiting in a queue a couple weeks from now. Yeah. What faction am I with? I'm with uh, Syndicate, the purple one. Uh, treasure, Treasury Games, no mounts. No, there's no mounts at launch. There is fast travel. Um... from certain places to certain places. <laughs> Same as you, twinsies. Congrats on six years, thank you. I'm gonna get this river crest. Don't you wish plants like that existed in real life? That'd be so neat. I love the creativity they had with the uh, things you can gather. What do you think of our new abode, Sh Shiveria? It's awesome, right? This is fine. <laughs> on the road again we have a lot of things to turn in creeping up on level 18 I think it's the highest uh, I've, uh, I've had uh, the character I've played in two closed betas <laughs> I didn't even mean for him to jump up there a chalky rabbit just sitting here. Yeah, I played in, in two of the betas. I got a lucky rabbit foot. And I don't think I've gotten this uh, high up before. And we can leave the starting zone at 25, right? Yeah. And the first dungeon unlocks at 25, too. Right? First dungeon is... Here, right? This thing? The Amrine Excavation, level 25? Oh, that's the wrong way. You took the puppy for a walk and you're still on? Going late? Uh, we got a huge raid from Artesian right when things were about to wrap up, so why not? Yeah. Is 
Is that the whole map? It looks a little bit small, no? I don't think so. So what, since we've been, since I've been running, I ran from here to here. I don't know. So this is starting zones. There's four starting zones. Then it jumps up to Cutlass Keys being level 26 to 35. We've got another 26 to 35 in Brightwood. And then we've got, this is an end game zone right here. Reek Water, Ebon Scale Reach, 51 to 60. Great Cleave, 41 to 50. Eden Grove. I don't know. It seems like, it seems like a lot to me. There are a few places on the upper edges that are not revealed, but could be future areas. Oh, okay. That seems pretty good. And the colors indicate which faction has control. And just because a faction has control, like I said, if you're not PvP flagged, you don't have to worry about getting ganked or anything like that. Um, but there's little bonuses that your faction gets if you're... if they control the town and stuff like that. Like, crafting fees go down and things like that. I'm on Taka Magahara. I like the little pumpkin guy. Little scarecrow. All right, let's go into the town and turn some things in. We'll see about wrapping up a little bit. Everfall Hamlet. There's housing, too. I'll show this off for... Uh, I don't have a house yet, but you can preview. Like, for example, this one. This one costs 10,000 gold, but... I could just enter the empty house just to look at it. And even though I'm in like an instance and can decorate, you can still see the players walking by, right? So you're not in like your own little world. You can still hear things and you can decorate your house. And invite people over. I think some of them have like a backyard too. This one doesn't have a backyard. Yeah, does this one have a backyard? This one that looks like it has a yard. Yeah, so this you could come back here and decorate your little little yard. And also go in your house. Pretty cool. Alright. Let's turn this in. You've returned. And with my stone charms, I presume? They're my stone charms. Well done. I look forward to studying these. All right, so my Everfall rank. So not only do you level up your character and then your weapons, you level up your territory standing, right? So I'm level nine in Windsward, level four in Everfall. So Everfall, I get to choose a perk. Do I want to gain more experience in Everfall? Do I want the trading tax to be less in Everfall? Do I want to increase my storage in Everfall? I'm going to do experience gain. Why not? All right, I have a couple more quests to turn in, I think. Yes, I do. What about guilds? They're called companies. They're server-based and faction based. So you have to be on the same server and have the same faction to join a company. And companies can declare war on other companies to fight over territory. Hold on, let me guess. You're not long here on the island. Sand, you've been at the beach and dust. You're in ruins, Arcturus even. I'd have been there myself were it not for that nasty regent. You did. You've done me an enormous favor then. Ah, the magistrate, of course. Clark, 
then he does see the possibility of my work. Well done. All right. That's all done. Yeah, I don't know, SP. Can anybody know? When the XP gain ones, do you lose that ability when you reach max level? That's a good, good point. I don't know. Maybe you can take those points and put it elsewhere at that point. I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! You gave Master Henry the what for, didn't you? Hold on. Let's hope that bastard. Ha <laughs> ha! You gave Master Henry the what for, didn't you? Let's hope that bastard stays down. Leave it to me to tell old Tickler. I appreciate your help, friend. Okay. I swear, I don't know what the woman has against me. Am I just too damn sexy for her because of the way I dress? Probably. I got another idea worth trying. But for this one, you'll be the one doing the delivering. Petrowski's been wanting to get some ore samples from the canary mine. Yes, you're a quick one, aren't you? He's gonna give me a musket. Here's the thing, though. When you give the ore to Petrowski, tell her it's an anonymous gift, eh? That'll get her attention. Alrighty then. So you're saying they become wasted choices? That's just weird design, if I'm being honest. Unless it's something like you're infinitely going to gain infinite levels in it. But... Yeah, maybe it's best not to choose the EXP ones. I, I'm going to still do EXP ones because I want to level up quick. But, yeah. I greet you in reverence. I think it's worth keeping in mind. Knowledge. All right, completed that. Take that. All right, I don't have enough syndicate tokens to buy more faction stuff. I'll have to go back to that at some point. That's why you're not taking those, Fox? Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I was just like, XP gain. That's weird, though. I would hope that at some point they... allow you to maybe respec your territory? I don't know. Unfortunately, it's difficult to get any work done around that nettlesome survivalist. I suggest you avoid him at all costs. Nettlesome instead of meddlesome? I never heard of nettlesome. Yes. It must be some bizarre, crude sense of humor that drives someone like Odda Lee. The man has the nerve to say I don't stand up for myself. My former friend fell to the corrupted in the Shadow Mine area. In fact, you could go there and exact vengeance. Then tell Odnal. Perhaps he'll finally leave me alone. Okay. And I do have another turn in the, that's at the other town. That's in Windsward here. Yeah, I have another turn in over there. Junior Gamer 640, thanks for following. And by the way, in case anybody was curious, these are all the trade skills. You like crafting? You like gathering? You like refining? This is your game. Yeah. <laughs> the only, I'm, I'm zero at jewel crafting and furnishing, which surprises my community. You guys thought it'd be zero in fishing, didn't you? Didn't you? What's my highest so far? 46? I'm 46 at harvesting. Yeah, there's a lot to do. So now you guys got me all like, like, what is going on with this? There's got to be some way to respect this, right? Yeah, XP gain. Earn 10.3% more XP while in Windsward. That's got to be able to be allocated other places at the end. 39 weaving surprises you? 
<laughs> you surprised my weaving so high? That's only because at every time I get back to town, I have like tons of something. Is it cross weave? I come back to town and I literally just make it all into something else. Just reading the books. Read your books, gang. Like this, like, kind of like this. You come back and I'm like, all right, I got some stone. Can we just show some appreciation for the fact that if I want to do a whole bunch of things at once, like I'm going to make 10 charcoal. I don't have to wait for 10 charcoal to get made. And it gives me all of the experience for those 10 at once. Hey, I'm a smelter. I've unlocked steel ingots. What was the thing I had to make? Didn't I have to make something for the board quest earlier this morning? I know, I smelt her, I dealt her. Look how many of you guys made the same joke at the same time. Here we go, set of crude armor. Craft it. That gave me 612 armor experience. And I can make this one too? Yeah. I think this was for the other town though. Hey, I ranked up Everfall again. Hey, maybe I'll choose something different this time. Like, uh... Gathering speed. And complete this. Ooh, level 18. And they're giving me a rabbit quest and a goat quest. 150 rawhide. I don't think I have 150 rawhide, do I? 30 timber. Do I have 30 timber? Damn. All right. So we leveled up. Strength. Okay. Surfing says, I don't know. I kind of like doing 1,000 soul shards in WoW. Each one is made with love. Well. You like torturing yourself. <laughs> 